Formal ethical standards for lawyers and judges were originally promulgated by the American Bar Association in the Model Code of Professional Responsibility. In 1983, the ABA switched its endorsement of the Model Code as a general guide for ethical behavior to the Model Rules of Professional Conduct. The Model Rules continue to be revised periodically, responding to changing sensibilities and emerging issues. The rules require that attorneys zealously protect and pursue a client's interest within the boundaries of the rules while maintaining a professional and civil demeanor towards everyone involved in the legal process. Critics charged that the rules have replaced earlier ethical codes that expressed ethical norms based on a moral tradition with regulatory prohibitions. Section 1 of the rules is titled Client-Lawyer Relationship. This section offers rules that require an attorney to maintain a level of competence in his or her field and to not take cases that are beyond his or her expertise. Section 2 offers rules concerning the lawyer's role as a counselor, and Section 3 covers these situations where an attorney is pursuing the client's interest as an advocate. Another section of the model rules is titled Transactions with Persons Other Than Clients. In this section, rules require the lawyer to maintain truthfulness in statements to others and not communicate with opposing parties except through their attorneys. Other rules cover practices concerning unrepresented persons and the rights of third persons. The section on public service mandates that lawyers provide some pro bono, free legal service and otherwise contribute to the legal community and society in general. To help guide judges in their duties, the Model Code of Judicial Conduct was developed by the ABA. The four canons of the code are as follows. A judge shall uphold impropriety. A judge shall perform duties impartially. A judge shall minimize the risk of conflict. And a judge shall not engage in political or campaign activity that is inconsistent. When judges are elected, they must solicit campaign contributions. There has been recent attention to the vast sums of money that have flowed to judicial campaigns in recent years. One might expect that judges who receive large campaign contributions from individuals or corporations would recuse themselves when these corporations have cases before the judge, but that doesn't always happen. There's a relationship between contribution and judicial decisions. The more campaign contributions from a business a justice might receive, the more likely the judge decides in favor of business litigants. Even in local races, bias is introduced when local attorneys are the largest donors to judicial campaigns. The Model Code of Professional Responsibility dictated that lawyers should be temperate and dignified and refrain from illegal and morally reprehensible conduct. 